to create an arthroscopy training laboratory using bovine knee model. The film was performed at the arthroscopy laboratory of National Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedics of Brazil with a bovine cadaver knee. In order to set up an arthroscopy lab that is easily reproducible in any region of the world, we choose to use the bovine knee. We obtained such an anatomical piece in conventional commercial establishments selling animal meat, like a slaughterhouse and butcher shops. We asked the owner of the establishment to separate the entire bovine lower limb, on with dry skin. The preparation of the piece begins by sectioning the tight muscles about 25 cm proximal to the knee. We repeat the same 25 cm distal to the knee at the tibial levia. Due to the large volume of the surotrices of this animal model, we section the distal third of the gastrocnemius to decrease the weight of the anatomical piece. We then observe the knee flexion, still with the femur and tibia intact. We then perform a transversal osteotomy of the tibia and femur at the same location as the soft tissues were resected. The room for studying the lab must have plugs with 110 and 220 volts, a tap with running water and appropriate drains, and must have at least 20 square meters. We use to fix the anatomical piece pleasure plier fused to a press, and this must be fixed to a rigid surface. A large box must be purchased to function as a container for the wire used to perform the arthroscopy. A wire tap must be tapped in order to be able to cope one way of the four-way equipment in this tap and supply water in a continuous way to perform the arthroscopy. For such adapters as the one shows may be necessary. We again highlight the pressure suppliers through to a vise. A vacuum cleaner is also extremely necessary. The arthroscopy table must be assembled with arthroscopy forceps, blades and shaver handpiece, scapel and medicine ball scissors. The arthroscopy tower must be equipped with a video monitor, light source, a camera controller and a shaver console. The bovine knee is then attached to a pressure suppliers and arthroscopy is started. We perform extensive cleaning of the synovial tissues located posterior to the patellar tendon. We initiated observe the trochlea to the patella, being able to observe the patellar tract. We are able to observe the anterior and posterior cruciate ligament. After we observe the medial compartment, to facilitate the visualization of this compartment, we perform the pie cross of the medial collateral ligament, easily observing the medial meniscus. Then we made a radial tear in the medial meniscus body for subsequent meniscus suture training. So your arthroscopy lab is up and running.